that Tim Geithner's August 2nd deadline is just a scare tactic. Dealing with this, this debt problem and this deficit problem uh, is far more important than meeting some artificial date created by the Treasury Secretary. <clears throat> So is Congress able to bypass the August 2nd deadline without risking default? Joining us right now, we have Pennsylvania Senator Pat Toomey joining us from our nation's capital. Good morning to you, Senator. Good morning, guys. Thanks for having me. Well, what about that? Is that August 2nd deadline really a deadline? I read that uh, John Kyle said that there's a possibility the Treasury might move it because we're taking in more money, and that was maybe not uh, fixed in stone to begin with. Well, it, here's, the, here's a simple reality. Uh, if we don't raise the debt limit, at some point that gets very disruptive because then the federal government has to live on tax revenue alone. Sure. But tax revenue is about 70% of everything that the government wants to spend money on. So if the government is taking in 70% of its full budget, even if it can't borrow any more, there's absolutely no need to default on our debt. That's the last thing anybody would do if they've got 70% of the revenue they need for all of their expenses. Debt, mm -hmm. by the way, debt service is only 6% yeah. so, of what we need. So, Senator, but, you say that you have this plan. You've introduced legislation that will take default off the table. How does it work? Well, what it simply says is it would codify in law a policy that the Treasury Secretary, I think, would pursue anyway, which is... You don't default on your debt. If we don't raise the debt limit and if they get into a cash flow squeeze and the Treasury has to live just on incoming tax revenue, you make sure, first and foremost, that we don't create a financial crisis, we don't default on our debt. And so the first obligation would be to pay the interest that we need. We could continue to roll over principal payments. And if we took that off the table, we could have an honest discussion about where we cut spending so that we can get these deficits right. under control and have the strong economic growth we need. But true or false, Senator, the president has the ability to look at some of the expenses coming in after August 2nd, if you guys don't get together on raising right. the debt ceiling or not he could start deciding, I'm getting rid of this program, I'm getting rid of this program, under the auspices of saying, we can't afford it. And he could be inflicting his agenda into the country's oh, budget. Absolutely. Listen, it's very disruptive if we don't eventually raise the debt limit. So if there's the pressure government on Republicans, has to, then? Well, I think the American people are going to decide. What would many of us in Congress, myself included, I'm willing to raise the debt limit, provided that we have the real cuts in spending mm -hmm. now and real reforms to a broken process. The president just wants more deficit spending. I, I, I think most Americans realize we can't borrow and spend our way to prosperity and we need to get off this path. Senator, there, I, I read a story online yesterday that said that, uh, you know, the thinking is that the president actually wants to go right up to the edge to force you Republicans to make a deal. Well, the worry is that that's the way this town <clears throat> usually operates. Nothing happens until there's a crisis. And I'm sure that some in the White House believe that as we approach this deadline and they can start to threaten uh, who, to whom they're going to withhold payments, uh, who knows, you can all imagine what that list looks like, that they can t intimidate Republicans into voting just to raise the debt limit and continue the borrowing and spending as usual. I certainly hope that that doesn't work. So we've got about one month left. What's going to happen? Well, uh, we're negotiating now. We, I mean the congressional leadership and the White House, but unfortunately the White House is insisting on more spending and a huge tax increase, which would be devastating to this economy. So, uh, I, you know, I just hope Republicans will hang mm -hmm. in there. We, we, we need to get on the right path. We've seen how this ends. Uh, you can't borrow and spend your way to prosperity. Curious to see if the president's going to attack Republicans or offer some new plans in his press conference today, at least in his opening statements. I understand you have 11 senators signing on to your program, right? Yeah, we do, and the program is very simple. It says cut cap and balance. We'll raise the debt limit provided that we cut spending now, we put a cap on spending in the next few years, and we have a balanced budget amendment to the Constitution. Uh, these things have had broad support among Republicans. Uh, we're working hard to get some Democrats on board because we've got to change this path we're on. We can't keep running one and a half trillion dollar deficits. Yeah. This is part of the reason the economy is so weak. No, yeah. it, something's got to give. All right, uh, Pat Toomey from the great state of Pennsylvania. Thank you, sir. Thanks, Senator. Thanks for having me, guys. All right, let's get right to your news. We have some headlines to tell you about because a second day of unrest in Cairo has left.